Hi, I'm Troy Warner. I'm an electrical engineer. I work at Bar Engineering Company in Bismarck, North Dakota. I will, well, we'll do a, usually a lot of controls projects. So if a client has like a compressor panel out at their facility that needs new equipment, usually because the old stuff has gone obsolete, they can't find parts, they can't get it repaired anymore. So we'll go in and we'll kind of assess the whole situation and then design a new cabinet, new hardware, new control system, and then we'll put the drawings together and issue them to them and, and they'll do the install. Uh, well, we're a consulting firm, so it's pretty much whatever our clients ask us to do. Uh, we work mostly in the industrial uh, climate, so it's a lot of power plants, a lot of refineries, uh, the gas plant on Beulah. So really it's industrial electrical engineering. It can go from MCCs to designing a computer network to whatever they don't really want to do, so they hire us type of thing. I, I knew I wanted to be an engineer. Uh, I actually started off in chemical engineering and that changed the first year after I took chemistry one and two. I decided I didn't really like chemistry that much. And I really like math, so I moved over to electrical engineering. And I was always interested in electronics, and you know, I was taking stuff apart all the time. And so it seemed like a good fit. I always kind of figured I was going to go to UND because that's where my mom and dad went, that's where my brother was at. And uh, growing up, a couple of friends' uh, fathers were engineers, and my girlfriend at the time, his father or her father was an engineer. And so they kind of guided me on where I should go. I actually went to BSC for two years to get get my generals done. And then uh, figured, well, UND has electrical engineering. And I already had a house there because my dad had one for rent. So it, it was a good match. Uh, well, by the time I got there, I'd, I'd taken all the generals. So I didn't have to worry about you know the large, immense uh, lecture halls with 300 students. Uh, it was all smaller classes, you know, around 30, probably 30 was our biggest class. Uh, and it was all really intense electrical engineering, like magnetic fields, transmission, transmission line theory, uh, electronic drives, uh, micro circuitry, micro programming. And then I dabbled into the computer science stuff and decided I didn't like that. So. Just take the introductory classes for, for the couple engineering disciplines you're interested in, and then uh, talk to other students that are a couple years ahead of you, because normally they're working on like senior design projects, so you can kind of get a feel for what projects interest you more, and, and let those, those experiences guide your decision. Pretty much, it's just it's how much research you have to do. Because especially with electrical engineering, you know, everything is, it, technology is always advancing. What you use five years ago is usually obsolete by now. At least there's different technology. There's different ways to do it. So it's, it's just amazing how much you have to learn every day. Like when I got out of school, you know, you thought you had a, a pretty good education. And then you get to doing projects and it's like, I'm, I'm learning new stuff every day, not because I wasn't taught what was right as this things change so much uh, on the electrical side. Uh, well, I'd, I'd encourage them to go out and talk to electrical engineers if they can, you know, go to businesses. Usually they're very open to, you know, letting them job shadow them for a day or two or kind of explaining what what their day entails so that they can get a, a better understanding of what you actually do. Because I know from when I started my education to when I actually got into the workforce, uh, I guess my understanding and expectations of what you do really changed. And uh, so I think that'd be a good experience for them. And then of course, pick a school that uh, kind of guides you to where you want to go. Because, you know, like we have two schools in North Dakota, or four year universities, anyways, that offer electrical engineering. UND, really more uh, electronics, 
uh, you know, circuitry type classes. SU is way more power industrial type engineering, which is what I ended up in. So had I gone to SU, I would have probably got a better education for my field. Not saying that, you know, one's better than the other. You just kind of got to pick where, where the school strength is and where you want to take your career.